So this question basically is assuming that the food is halal. Means it's correct. The, 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 the meat is aviha and everything. Correct. Only that the location serves alcohol. Correct. Now, if you are asking me just on a minimum basis, the basic rule about it, if it is a halal dish, you are eating on a table where alcohol is not being served, technically I would say it is permissible. But on a moral, ethical level, spiritual level, I would say, you know, why even bother to go to a place where they are serving alcohol? Because con contamination is a problem. You know, how, how, do you, how can you be satisfied that things will not mix with one another? Especially when you talk about the greater Toronto area, mashallah, you know, you people don't realize that you're so lucky. There's so many, you know, uh, halal, okay, restaurants in the city that we don't have to worry about doubtful places. On the same note, the same uh, question and topic, uh, according to Sayyid Sistani's rule, he mentions that it is permissible, however, there's a clause there in which he mentions that if, it, if it's going to taint your image, so to speak, then it becomes haram. Can you please explain the latter part of that? Well, there is another issue related to it, that if you frequent a place where there is halal food, but also alcohol being served, and there is a danger that your reputation can be tarnished when people see you going at that place, then, so it's nothing to do with the food haram and halal, it's more about frequenting a place which can have a negative uh, reputation on you, and that's what you should avoid. Negative reputation by somebody else looking at yes, you? Yes, yes, somebody else looking at you and assuming that, nozubillah, you are going there, you know, for alcohol. I see, Ahsan, okay. Um, any questions on the gents' side? In the meanwhile, we'll answer this question. Um, Ahmed, Ahmed there, over there. Can you please put your hand up again? Yes, go ahead.